How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggy With It. I'm Will. I'm Avery. And today we're playing a game called Stim Epic Heroes. So what this game is, is a card game where you're trying to do the scientific method. So the scientific method involves five steps. Cinco. Do you know the five steps? Observation. Observation. Hypoth hypothesis. Hypothesis. Experiment. Analyze data, publish results. Publish results. There <laughs> so that is the five steps. So uh, STEM, for those of you that aren't aware, stands for science, technology, engineering, mathematics, mathematics, uh, and it is basically a educational um, uh, directive. It, it, it's to teach kids and get them interested in all things science and technology and engineering and mathematics. Um, and this game here actually won some awards. Um, I can't remember the year, but it won one of the best games for, I think it was Newsweek, uh, for being a STEM award game. So the simple version of the game is you need to get one of each of the different steps. And you're gonna be doing that with scientists that are, you know, popular in history. So of course here we see we have Ada Lovelace, we have John von Neumann, um, Mary K uh, Kenneth Keller. There's a lot of them I had never heard of before. Uh, I know like uh, uh, George Washington Carver, I know he's in here. I had to read about him in school at one point. Uh, but of course you have your normals, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla. Um, and you're trying to accomplish that. So on each turn, you're allowed to do one of three actions. The first action you do is play a um, scientist. By playing one of your scientists, you will be able to pull one of these steps and it must match. So in this being a two player game, we've only got the two sided uh, versions of the cards, but in a single or multiplayer, so if you get to three or four players, there are actually single versions of the cards as well. Of course, the two player game, because there's only two of us, uh, the need to try to slow down the game and make it harder isn't necessary. And that's what that would do. That would add a little bit of uh, difficulty for people to be able to get the exact one they need, right? Because if you only have a blue scientist and all the cards out here are green, purple, and they're solid colors, you have a less likelihood of being able to complete those. But you can go ahead and grab your scientist. You'll be able to grab your discovery. And then on that turn, you can also place either um, items and or uh, locations if they match your scientist and discovery. Um, the only time that, of course, is not the case is if you have what's called a polymath, uh, like this here, Isaac Newton is. They can use any discovery, they can use any location or any item. The second action you can play is if you don't have a scientist to play or you cannot play one or just choose not to, you can actually play a single location or a single item to an existing scientist. Third action you can take is no action. So say you can't do anything, but you don't want these cards, then you can go ahead and as your no action, you'll just discard one of the cards. Same thing as you play an item or location, you discard one card to get a new discovery brought out to the field. Um, you always draw up the six and then discard. So that's a really good uh, mechanic in the game because a lot of times you end up with like a lot of cards you can't use. So this allows you to keep shuffling through your cards. And then the other thing you have are these inspiration. So if any of you guys have watched us play Disney Villainous, there's always the um, condition. condition. Conditions that you can play any time during the game. And even with this, you have that. So an inspiration can be played at any time. Some of them are simple uh, one-time use type cards and cannot be imp impacted by your opponent. Other ones have a take that mechanic. So I can, for example, discard Avdi's uh, discovery, which means everything with the discovery goes. The discovery, the scientist, the location, location item, whatever's attached. However, if Avdi has that same card, she can block me. So that's basically it. It's a very simple game. It's a very fun game. We, we were playing it um, and Avdi kept getting mad at me because I kept, I don't know how I kept winning, but now of course we're live and we're filming. So we know what's going to happen. Yes, but I already saw your scientists. You already scientists. saw my scientists. Because I saw... <laughs> would, you, would you like to shuffle all of them back in and we can start over okay. with new hands? Okay, we'll start over. So, so Avdi... Now, that is one thing you can do. I forgot to mention that. If you don't like your hand, you can actually discard your hand once and draw six new cards. 
We oh, never did that. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we will shuffle these back in real quick. Uh, we'll do one quick shuffle, and then we will deal out another six cards to each of us. Uh, because Audrey saw that I had a lot of good cards. I had an item I could use. I had a polymath. I had you know Moibian stuff. I had, a, I had an inspiration. Four, four, five, five, six, six. All right. Uh, and our field is set up a little bit differently, and that's for you guys to play. Normally, you would have like these on the ends, but I guess it really doesn't matter um, how you set these up. I will try to give everything down in the bottom. So the person that gets to go first is a person that can say pi to the furthest digit. And we already know that you can do that further than I can by one digit. So what is what is pi? Three point fourteen sixteen. See, I don't. We know. I never learned it that way. So I just always try to remember the numbers, and I, I did 3.1415. All right, so Avdi gets to go first. Now we will be playing after this, and I'll have timestamps down below. After this game, we'll go ahead and show you the uh, second gameplay mode, which is basically just adding some challenges into the game. But it was not last time we streamed this game. All right, so one thing uh, that we didn't show you in the cards, so the cards do have special abilities. So you can see here on Orville and Wilbur Wright, uh, they have what their scientific breakthrough was or their invention. So in this case, of course, it's flight. And then it also gives them some kind of power up. So in the case of um, the brothers, you basically get six points for your discovery instead of the three points that it's normally worth. All right. So Audrey Winch, you did that. Are you going to play any other cards? No, I can't. You can't? Okay. So draw back to six. So uh, I draw three. You yeah. draw three, yeah, and then discard back down to six. All right. So I'm going to do. Only uh, one step three. So I'm going to do step three. And I can flip that one over because it is purple. And then I am going to attach an item. So, um, Alexander Graham Bell's ability is telephone. He may use two locations of any type. So some of them also have that. So he basically can allow me to have two locations. There are other ones, I forget who it is. Um, uh, Thomas Edison? No. I forget, one of them it allows me to have as many items as you want. Uh, but I forget who that was. Oh, all right, so I gotta refill the field. Hmm. Any sayos? All is small. And I will attach. Okay. Audrey is doing ball. Um, which, what was her thing? Her thing is the science lab is worth six points when played with ball. What That's was her What was her science thing? Okay. It's not Discover the, the cure. Oh, develop the cure. Yeah, develop the cure. Sorry. So she actually was it. I think it was penicillin is what she did. No, penicillin is another. One. I thought she worked on it. Um, African-American chemist who developed one of the first treatments. Oh, leprosy. So she developed a cure for leprosy in the University of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. There we go. I couldn't remember what she did. All right. Uh, mine was pretty self-explanatory. He, he made the telephone. <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell, he made oh, yeah. the telephone. All right. So did you draw to three? Oh, I'm going to refill the field. Go ahead and grab it. All right, and then there are, and we didn't mention this as well, there are wild cards in addition. Um, so these can count as any step. All right, um, so I got step three. I'm gonna do step, there's only one step one. Step one, and then I'm gonna play um, Gottfried Wilhelm Litzbins, <laughs> a pinwheel calculator. So you need the pinwheel calculator. Calculator's worth seven points when attached to him. Well, guess what? Ba-bam! 
I got the calculator. I'm calculating. Alright. Let me fill this. And then I gotta draw. So it's back to you. Mm. There are way too many scientists here. I have one in three. Yes, I have one in three. Step five. Step five. All right. And I'm going to uh, just one card from any of them. What? This card one card from an opponent's hand. Oh, electric. Okay, so let's. Uh, so who's that? This is Herpa. Ayrton, Ayrton. Ayrton, okay. Uh, electric yeah. Arc, so she was electricity. Discard one card from opponent's hand. Alright. That's not say I can, let's see. No, I did. <laughs> yes. Oh, hola Newman. Hola Newman. <laughs> uh, Newman's a good one. Yes. Newman basically, he's uh, a self replicating machine, so discovery cards are worth double. So it's just kind of like your your uh, Wilbur um, Orville Wilbur Wright. It's worth six points instead. Okay, so that didn't that didn't mess me up too much. Oh, un poquito. Oh, hang on, my, my step three is in the place of my step two. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play uh, James Clerk Maxwell. Electromagnetism. Take one enhancement from opponent's discovery and add it to yours. I think I'll take this this here the enhancement right there, and then I'm also going to add. The science lab. So I did. I develop. I, I learned how to steal Bunsen burners in the science lab. Kind of like a clue, you know, who done it. Oh, did you already take this one? This one is there. You already take one, or did you forget to refill? Isn't that five? Why do five. Six? We have five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, jeez. No, this was the one that was. Not. Okay. Oh, somehow I got moved over towards me. <laughs> okay. Bye. Um, oh, yeah, and I got rid of him. All right, I'm going to do. Oh, I can't do that yet. All right, so now you got to worry about getting some more points. All of my people is have points. My people are fine. No. Oh. I forgot to put the, the location when I could. Oh. I had. Take um, one enhancement from an opponent's discovery and add it to you. No! Or prevent an opponent no! from taking one of your enhancements. No! I might not have a way to combat that. You gonna play it? Alright, so you can take an enhancement. It has to be an enhancement that you can attach, so. So it it doesn't like matter. To... They're all they're all two. So you can either do the blowtorch or the Bunsen burner. Blowtorch, Bunsen burner. Is either one I'm giving the you the green one. one? Bunsen burner. Because she works oh. better. She has an attachment. Oh no, you need the science lab. Yeah, it's an enhancement, not a location. So it would be better if you could have taken location. That would have been really good for you. I don't let you take a location. Okay. It doesn't. Yeah, it's still your turn. You still haven't you haven't done what you're gonna actually do for your action. Step three with any other any structure. All your mathematics stories are worth one point. Uh yeah, well that's you would combine, so you'd play those together with other math ones to get more points. Um that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not a good play. All right, so I'm gonna play Wu. I'm gonna play Wu for step two. Good old Wu for step two. So Wu is science. Um, gaseous diffusion. Um, split type discovery cards played with Wu are worth six. Basically, split type, which this is a split type, is worth six. So I didn't even notice that because that, that we counted that anyways, but some of them just say any discovery, right? Like his says any discovery. Any discovery Her yeah. specifically says split type. 
So in a two-player game, that's fine because we're always going to have the split type. But I I didn't notice that. Well, the, the, what, what the split type? Because they're split. They're they're two different. Um, did you draw? Or no. Two. You forgot to refill. Oh, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So that could have been something better for me. Um, but yeah, that's all we play with. All right. So hang on, I got him. I froze the market, so you can't get that one. And then we've also, part of this game, something we learned when we were playing is being the first one to complete isn't necessarily the best strategy um, if you know that you're already behind on points. If you're behind on points, you want to try to get some points before you complete, uh, if you're one or two <laughs> steps ahead. I, I don't know. I mean, if I complete it now, I might lose because I don't have any eye chance. But remember, you if get I... one more turn after I get a turn. Okay. I'm going to do for my step one. Well, I say you get one more. You get one more turn after it's completed. So if you complete it. So if you no, you complete it. That means it's done, and then I get one more turn. All right. So See. that's it. Oh no! Wait. I can add a knight in chance, maybe. Mm. Well, no, you only the guy that you played, which is the green guy. But I can add a knight in. Oh, so to him. Yes. Oh, because you have that. Yeah, that, you can play that anytime. All right. So I'm going to play this. And then I'm going to play Loveless. So right. add a Loveless algorithm. Peek at the top two cards of the hero deck. Place one ah. in your hand, discard the other. Um, put this here. And put this here. Um, and I can pick a. Peek at the top two cards. I don't know why it says peek. Uh, put one in my hand, get rid of one, and suck a ball. So I got all five steps, you got all five steps. Now we have to add up all of the points. I did not this one to her. When you played her. When I played her. Okay. okay. So here's where the mathematics come in, guys. So this is the M in STEM. So three, six, nine, one, four. Oh, hang on. Nineteen. Okay. So this one, any discovery card scored by the So that's right six right instead. Six. Yeah. 23. 23. 37. Oosh. Oosh. <laughs> he always wins this game. I always win this game. But I, I didn't get like, eye chance this it, time. It's not like I'm it's not like I'm trying. And that it is a little bit luck based <laughs> because you do have to uh, worry about, you know, did you get the right cards? Did you get the wrong cards? Uh, what got discarded? What didn't get discarded? I did it again. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> All right, so we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. We did it again. We did it again. All right, so you shuffle these. You shuffle these. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle for the next one. Uh, and then we're going to bring out the challenge cards. So the challenge cards basically need you to either get two of a kind or two different ones together so uh, two of a kind uh, for the different things three of a kind two different locations um, two items and the first person to achieve that challenge uh, gets to pick this up and it's uh, two or three points depending on the difficulty so we get four of these so one two three four all right, three polys. Yeah, that that that. I don't think we're getting the three polys. I have not seen this one. Uh, two locations in a single game. So that's not too hard to do either. That is not too hard to do either. Listo. Uh, oh yeah, you can you can put up five cards.
Bella's happy. She's got a free toy from a toilet paper roll. <laughs> Those are the best toys, are the free toys. Best toys are the free toys, guys. Alright, there we go. So, um, just put them back on top so that it comes in reach. Both of us. Gotta remember to not, <laughs> not to go past seven. One, one, two, two, three. Five, five, six, six. Woohoo, I can count! That a thief? That's six. Alright. And can you still count higher? Uh, can you still do pi better than me? See, it doesn't say when you play multiple games who is supposed to go first on follow-up games. We'll keep, I, I think we were just doing who, whoever the... If you, if you want, I mean, I guess I could go first because... Well, I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter because if you... I don't know why you said that I win when I say the pi. Because I say 16 instead of 15? Correct, because I think 16 is correct. I, I think 15 is wrong. What if it is 15, 9, something? I don't know. Then we're, then we're both wrong. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. You want to go first or you want to go second? Second to see if the second to see if, to see if changes. You're right, because you're right. Every time we played last time, I went first. Um, so I'm going to go with... This doesn't matter on the first one. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with um, Al Kolazar Nikara Kwa Rizimi. Yeah. Mathematics quadratic equation. Choose up to two players who must discard two cards of their choosing. Um, I, I choose you. I don't choose me. It's like Pokemon. I choose you. <laughs> It says up to two players. Well, there's only one player, so you're, you're that that's up to. What do I have to do? You have to discard two cards of your choosing. Two cards from my hand? See, you have to discard two cards from your hand. I know, I can't. You have to discard two cards and then from what? your hand. That's it. You just discard two so cards I don't from have... your hand. Oh, that's fair. Look, I had to discard. I know. But if that was the hard thing to discard, then that means the other things are still better. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's your turn now. You can do the same thing back at me. You can be mean to me. I give you permission to be mean to me. Take two I... random cards. No, it's is it discard or take? Okay. Take. Those are yours now. <laughs> One, two. That's what I'm saying. So there you go. You got two good cards back. All right. So I need two locations. That was my turn. No, 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 no. Th these you can do at any time. Remember okay. the the inspiration you can do on my turn. You can do on your turn. Doesn't matter. So. So who do you got? But Pascal. Pascal. He's a polymath. Okay. So it didn't say what Pascal does. So I guess. Uh, the theory. He has a theory. theory yeah, he's got a, it's, uh, Pascal. It's a triangle. Uh, it's a triangle. It's a hard. Like, I don't know how to say in Spanish. The Latin in English. In English. <laughs> the isosceles. No. The, Where is he? When oh, it is a. Uh, Blaise Pascal was a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, writer, and philosopher. Pascal, Pascal is famous for contributions to the field of Pascal hydrology, triangle. Pascal's law, mathematics, Pascal's triangle, and probability theory. He also invented one of the first mechanical calculators. There we go. Now we know about Pascal. I love his That's all you can do? Uh, I got it. You, you can no. attach anything to him, remember? That's what you can do. Oh, you're going for the three polymaths, aren't you? Yeah. All right. Well, goodbye to him. Ah, you win. Can you now. stop it? No. Oh, Lost results. All right. Adios. Whoa, Adios, Pascal. Fun. See, total. 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 Because I got rid of the discovery. 
which is everything I'm attached so to this cover. You're so happy. I'm so <laughs> You're like, oh, I got him. Mm, not, no más. Lo siento. Lo siento. Okay. Um, oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't. You didn't refill the... Refill the field. All right. Um, I don't want to flip these guys. I just have. All right. Um, let's do step two. I'm going to make it purple because I like purple. Perfect. Morado. Okay. Um, fill the field. And take this. And I have to discard one. No. Alright. So who'd you... Oh, you did another polymath? Oh, you had a ton of polymaths. Delita, por favor. Patent dispute. Take one enhancement from an opponent's discovery and add it to yours. I don't have any enhancements at the moment. Oh no, this does this count as an enhancement? See. Is, yeah, location both are enhancements. Okay. I think lo lo location and enhancements. Claire may add one enhance yeah, one enhancement. So yeah, locations count as an enhancement. You're gonna take the classroom. Oh, but you have to know it's and it says you have to add it to one of yours though, right? So you can't take that yet. You can't add it to that one. Okay. Because Polymath can only have one item. Only certain ones let you have more than one location. Here, give me the back. You can take it later. You can steal it from me later. Wait till I have something else you can steal. Why can't I add it to him? If because he... you can only have one location. Oh, that's all. There was a particular, that, I forget, it was the one I just had in the last game that but, you could but have. But what about... Oh, yeah, here oh, it is, no, like Edison. No, no. Okay. Edison can have unlimited items, and then I forget who it was that could have unlimited, or could have two locations. Okay. Dog tres. Whose turn is it? You just played Conservation. Because I went first, so I'm, see, I'd be one ahead and I got one. Okay. So, do three? Draw three? Okay. Um, you have to win. Alright, I'm going to publish results. So, I've got Galileo Galilei, which is a polymath. And then I'm going to give him a robot. And I'm going to give him a technology. Uh, you get and so many. I'm going to do lost oh, results thanks. on your lost results. Adios. <laughs> Adios. Lo siento. Lo siento. Um, and I'm down to one card, so I have to I'm draw. I'm going to give you dessert. No. Ooh, birthday dessert. No, I'm not going to give you dessert. Okay, what's well, your turn? Oh, oh, why do I have seven? Some... Why do you have seven cards? You forgot to discard a card. Are you over there cheating? See? I need I need Uno Mas Polymath. Or another mathematician. Oh wait a minute, I got two. Uh, oh, hang on. Wait a minute, I can't play. I can't play. No, but why do I continue playing? I should not. I, play, I played Newman. I played the wrong card. I didn't play the location, I played another scientist. Um, I messed up. I should, have played, I should have played Newman instead of him. Oh well. But see, now you can use your thingy. Oh no, well you could have used it if you wanted to take my robot. Can't use it now because I don't have a blue location. You have to wait to have a blue location. Or when you play a yellow guy. Alright. Um Okay. Oh draw. Three. Yeah, draw three. Alright, so five, four, two, 
So we'll do Uno. Now we'll play, now I'll play Newman properly with the server room. Uh, Self-replicating. Uh, discovery cards are worth double when played with Newman. And that's all I can do because I don't have anything else to attach to Lost results? Oh, I don't have that. Discard one. Oh, you're taking my, my, you're taking me. Are you getting rid of everything? Oh, that's not the, I thought that was the other one. <laughs> I thought that was, you were trying, I thought you were trying to steal my, you should have stole my location first. I don't know, you don't want to to win. You, you should have <laughs> stole the enhancement first before you got rid of him. Oh, uh, I can't do that. <laughs> no, he's in the discard pile now. Gotta do it before you make your plays. All right. Don't be looking at my cards. Don't be looking at my cards. Oh, right. you look at mine over there. No, I do not look at yours. I do not. I am no cheater. I do not cheat. Okay, back to you. Back to you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's he do? He does not need any enhancements. Oh, who's that? Godel? Godel. What do you invent? Incomple incompleteness theorem. Incompleteness theorem. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Uh, and I'm going to play... No, because he does not need anything. See? Yeah, don't make that mistake. Don't accidentally put a location <laughs> on him. I wonder if there's a card that says put a locate, put something on somebody else's card. <laughs> Then, oh, then, then it would be like, oh. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to do step, what am I missing? Step three? Do I have a step three? A wild step. All right, so I'm going to do this as step. Do this one, and then I'm going to give him the, oops, wrong one. I'm going to give him the microscope. And so this is Alexander Fleming. Uh, he created antibiotics. Mm -hmm. uh, this player is now immune from having enhancements stolen. I thought it was him. Yeah. You can't take any of my enhancements now. Because it says player, not this scientist. <laughs> Two, three. Oh, I need one more. Dang, none of us have gotten any of the challenges yet. Well, as we turn now. Oh, yeah, I need another location. Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, do that to me. That was see, the one I was so working I, on. I win this one. See, see, see. That was and the one I was working on. Oh, yeah, the wild to have. The wild, the wild item. Okay. I see how you're going to play this. Mm. I see what you're doing. The problem is, is oh, we're missing. So I we keep forgetting to refill the field. Oh. Alright, so draw your three. Oh, okay, so draw three and discard. I need to say right now what my wild step is representing, right? Yeah, we, we, we usually, yeah, you can't change it. So we usually put it in the right order, though. But I didn't put. I mean, I have to start here. Get rid of that. up my step three and then I'm gonna play Newton with the workshop and a rocket so I got two locations so I 
that one. And that is it, so I don't need to worry about drawing anymore. I did not get the second green one. See, this is this is your final turn. What can you make on your turn? Can you get oh hang on, I got the three polymaths still. Oops, no, I did two things. Three? One, two, three. You said it's okay. You got the second. You got this. I I didn't think it was possible, but we went through a lot of cards this game. Can you add anything to them? No. 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 Okay. So the shackle ball. All right. Points time. Three. So you take three from me, okay. Oh. Uh, so basically just I lose this. Thirty. Dang, I didn't lose count. I think I I think I have thirty four. Oh, thirty two. Remember that, that that lightning bolt's three instead of two, right? Mm -hmm. right. Three. So 32, 30. 30. That one was closer. And see, you don't look like you have as much as I've got laid out, but you still were really close in points because you had some guys who had good powers, right? Because you made me lose the three. So how was that? So that is STEM. I have it's never fun. won this. She's still not won. So we that is we're at seven games now. This is seven seven games. Um Audrey is not won yet, so I imagine we're gonna keep playing this until, until, <laughs> until she can win. Uh but that is STEM. If you guys want to check this out, go and head over to Mythic Labs who makes this game. Uh it's not too expensive. I think it's around twenty, twenty-five dollars. Mythic Labs did provide us a copy to be able to play for you guys. Uh we do appreciate that. So make sure you guys go show them some support. Um uh, make sure you hit the like. Subscribe, comment down below, hit that share. thumbs up button, share the video, all that YouTube stuff. Until next time, guys. Adios.